I wanted to share today a recipe with you for one of my family's favorite meals. I'm willing to bet that pretty soon it's going to be one of your family's favorite meals too. It is a fantastic crock pot recipe for chicken and wild rice soup that a friend of mine made for me uh, about a year and a half ago after I had my gallbladder out and I was kind of limited in what I could eat. I was just not feeling great. And this was the perfect comfort food for me. It's you know easy on your system, so I was able to tolerate it, but it's delicious, and my family loved it. So this was one of those that I had to get the recipe, and it's a regular in our dinner rotations. And even better, it's a crock pot recipe. It only has to be in for four hours, which is fantastic. So if you forget to throw it in in the morning, it's okay. How many times have you done that, planned to make a crock pot meal, but you forget to put it in at eight o'clock in the morning, and it needs 10 hours to cook? This one you only need four. So you put it in around lunchtime, early afternoon, and you're good to go. So she originally found the recipe on a blog. I think it was called Iowa Girl Eats, uh, the blog where she got the recipe. I've changed some of the, um, the amounts of some things. So I do it a little bit differently than she does, but it's still awesome, super, super awesome. So I've already put in the meat. Um, I use thighs about two, two and a half pounds. Um, you can use breasts as well, that's fine. Just make sure that whatever you use is boneless and skinless because otherwise you're gonna end up with bones and skin floating around in your soup. Don't want that. You'll have to be fishing them out, don't go there. So obviously thighs are a little bit more cost effective. Um, and personally, I just think they have a little bit of a better flavor. Um, breasts are a little bit more lean. Pros and cons. Um, up to you, just make sure that it's boneless and skinless. Um, I use, like I said, about two, two and a half pounds. You can do more or less depending on what your family likes. Another thing that's really awesome about this recipe is that it's really easy to do more or less and then have some to freeze for later, which is awesome. It's like another meal taken care of. All right, so chicken is already in the crock pot. Next, I cut up a bunch of carrots and celery. Um, three to four carrots peeled and cut, and same three to four um, stalks of celery cut up. That's all going right in the crock pot. And then I minced up two cloves of garlic. If you don't have fresh garlic in the house or you just don't feel like dealing with fresh garlic, just take the, um, the powder and do a couple shakes. I do that all the time if I don't feel like dealing with garlic. Um, the original recipe calls for fresh onion. Um, I have a stupid sensitive stomach and, and it doesn't like onion, um, but I can do onion powder. For whatever reason, fresh onion just really bothers me, um, but I can do onion powder. So I just do a little bit. That way we still get the flavor, but I don't get an upset stomach, which that's a win. Um, we're going to add our bay leaf, either one large or two small. So let's see. Bay leaf going in. Um, and then we're going to do half a teaspoon of thyme. And then half a teaspoon of pepper. And then half a teaspoon of salt. Now the original recipe calls for one and a half teaspoons. Um, I don't know if it was just the broth that I used with it or what, but the one time that I did it and that I did do the full one and a half, it was super, super salty. Um, so I cut it way back and I just do a half teaspoon. Um, you know, you could always add half a teaspoon and then taste it. You could always add more. You just can't take it out, obviously. So start with less and you could always add more. Um, and then we're going to do a quarter teaspoon of sage. and rosemary. 
also a quarter. All right. So these herbs, the combination is delicious. It's not like overwhelming, um, but it tastes so good. It smells amazing. That's one of my favorite things about crock pot meals. Your house just smells amazing. You set it all up, you're ready to go so that at the end of the day when you're running around like crazy to dance classes and practices for sports and meeting and just, you know, all of the craziness, you don't have to worry about making dinner. It's cooking while you're running around. You come home, it's ready, and your house smells amazing. That's a win. Um, so now we're going to add the broth. So this is one other thing that I do differently. The original recipe calls for six cups, um, which is great. It's, it's a good amount. It's just that because I add more chicken, um, I do eight. So, and I'm totally one of those people that just eyeballs it. <laughs> so I get the big containers of chicken broth and I just do two full containers, or if I'm putting in the second one and it looks like it's gonna be a lot, then I just leave it. I don't know, enough to cover everything. Um, again, if you wanna do more, if you wanna do less, do it how you want. So these containers are the 48 ounce. Sorry, need another one. Um, and I'm not gonna end up putting in the two full ones. So it'll probably be like one and a half of the containers. Um, just enough to cover everything, like I said. Okay, so that's probably about one and a half. All right, and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter. This is about two, it's a little bit more. That's okay. And that's just gonna soak in there and melt and be delicious. Ooh, as I splash everywhere. Um, and then the last thing that we need is some long grain and wild rice. Yes, I know I should be buying by the bag. <laughs> um, you need about three quarters of a cup to a cup. Um, so if you're awesome and you buy it by the bag, then about three quarters to one cup. Um, the store, I, I food shop at Walmart just because it's the most cost effective way. And the Walmart by me, this is the only way I can get wild rice. So I buy it this way and I just don't use the seasoning packet that comes with it. So yep, you're just gonna throw in the wild rice. Make sure everything is in the broth. And then the lid goes on and you set it on low for four hours. How easy is that? So in four hours, it's gonna be all ready to go and you're set. Um, it's fantastic with a bread. I got croissants to have with ours. It's a really easy but delicious and healthy meal for your family. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will put the full recipe in the comments so that you can refer to that. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'd love to hear about it when you make this and enjoy it. So tell me all about it. See you soon.